YouTube channel known as The Haunted Side has traveled to countless interesting locations that are allegedly haunted and have conducted investigations to see if they can capture anything scary on camera and have been doing so to entertain their subscribers for quite a long time now. In one of their videos, the crew heads on out to the Victor Hotel, located in Victor, Colorado. There isn't supposed to be anybody in the hotel that day besides themselves, and the hotel is actually closed when they arrive, meaning no outsider could just wander in. Back in the day, the hotel was a makeshift hospital as well as a makeshift morgue, both of which were on the fourth floor. One of the rooms, room 406, was used to store bodies in the winter. During the investigation, the haunted side attempts to make contact with one of the dead miners that worked on the hotel, named Eddie. It is said that Eddie fell to his death from the third floor after he stepped into an empty elevator shaft and fell tragically to his death. While standing outside of Eddie's room, one of the crew members points the camera right at the door, and it isn't long before he starts to hear something absolutely chilling. Have a listen. You hear me, Eddie? I can legit hear someone walking around in here. Whoa! It sounded like even the elevator door shut. That's what I thought it was at first. I thought something happened with the elevator, and I was at 406, and I heard, and it sounded like it came from this side of the hallway, because I was at the other end of the hall. The footsteps are definitely creepy, but the banging noise is even more terrifying, because the sound would be reminiscent of how Eddie fell to his death all those years ago. Later on, the crew members are walking around the aforementioned makeshift morgue room, when they hear something tumble down the stairs. What the hell was that? What was that? Something fell down the stairs. Um, it... <laughs> that was loud. Um, where did that come from? There's not a table over here. That's the Bible, dude. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Are you are you kidding? Me? I am not kidding you. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. A couple of minutes later, one of the guys, Patrick, is just about to start a sensory deprivation test when suddenly something incredibly odd can be heard. Listen closely. So the reason the reason we're doing this is because this elevator shaft is where somebody fell to their death. So Patrick is going to see if he can communicate with the person who died there. Mm. Weird. I just got a dizzy feeling again too. Weird. I just got a dizzy feeling again too. Dude. After this, the crew hears yet another bizarre noise that startles absolutely everyone. It sounds like it could be the old rustic elevator moving around, but as they point out, the elevator didn't move an inch. So, what could it have been? And watch here. This sound can be heard by everyone in the group, not just one person. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope that's them. I don't even know what that sound was. The elevator didn't even come up. Right? I hope that's them moving. Is that you guys moving the elevator? No. What the hell was that? Are you trying? I just got really dizzy again. We have no idea! I don't know if he can hear us or not. They then proceed to discuss just how weird and unexplainable this whole situation is, and decide to head upstairs to document some more things, when out of nowhere, this happens. 
Daddy. Again. Again. That's the sound we heard. Dude, Dude, look. Can you do that again? And look, it at hasn't this. said a word. And it's not saying it right now. Afterward, they are all gathered in one room on the top floor, and two more things are able to spook them, but not quite enough to leave yet. Take a look and see. Let's head back down, head down the staircase. Coat percent bar. What the hell was that? Mm, nowhere near that. Percent bar. What the hell was that? Heard. No. Heard? What was that? That wasn't the refrigerator because they don't make that kind of noise. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I like literally like What? The f thing is moving. No. It's moving. Okay. Yeah, turn that. Oh, one of the other. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I like literally like... What? The f thing is moving. No. It's moving. Door to the cabinet? Dress. What's well, going back on? That was moving. Did it? I caught it on here moving. Me. Me? Me? Eventually, however, they enter the elevator and are a few minutes away from calling it a day and leaving. But seeing as how the elevator definitely has quite the terrifying past, you'd expect something to happen while they're in it, right? Well, if you thought that, then you are 100% correct. Watch this terrifying moment while they are all huddled in together. Eddie, are you coming through here right now? What if we just saw a shadow just, just like fall. fall through? What, what the, the hell, hell was that? that? It has not done that. No. It felt like something hit it this It felt thing. like something the whole thing hit shook. it. It felt like something hit it. What if we just saw a shadow just, just like fall. fall through? What, what the, the hell, hell was that? that? The Victor Hotel is without a doubt one of the most chilling and mysterious haunted locations I have seen videos on in quite a long time. Also, this video begs the question, was the ghost of Eddie making his presence known throughout this investigation? Was this a setup? Let me know what your thoughts on this situation are in the comments below. And that was 5 scary ghost videos that would make you lose sleep. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. <laughs> S.Go uploaded the following video to TikTok, which follows them as they walk around outside what looks to be an abandoned building. The way they are walking around with the phone camera and slowly working their way around the edges of this house outdoors indicates that they are trying to get something on camera, all while being as quiet and discreet as can be. At one point in the video, they find a room that they are able to peer into, but ultimately finds nothing in it. Little do they know, they already captured something terrifying on camera, right at the beginning. Take a look. Apa ya? Taunya namanya Ali Madu. Nah, kurang nyabung saya. Oh ini, bang. Nyata lewat, lewatnya sini, bang. Iya, baru ingat saya. Saya baru ingat. Nah, ini lewat sini nih, bang. Kurang nyabung saya. Oh ini, bang. Nyata lewat, lewatnya sini, bang. Iya, baru ingat saya. Saya baru ingat. Although it may be hard to see, by slowing down the footage you can make out what appears to be some sort of weird figure. The uploader noticed it after they filmed this and believe it is a Pokong. A Pokong is an Indonesian ghost that is said to be the soul of a dead person trapped within a shroud. I have featured Pokong sightings in the past, and this is among the creepier ones. What do you guys think? Was this a real Pokong caught on camera, 
Was it a hoax? Or was it something else in time? Let me know in the comments down below. In November 2012, a woman on YouTube known as Mel3385 uploaded a video which sees her walking around her hotel room and proceeding to call out hello, seemingly trying to talk to somebody that we cannot see on camera. Right from the beginning, this particular piece of footage is sure to give you the chills. Something about it gives off an indescribable goosebump inducing feeling and it gets all the more creepy when she walks into the bathroom and makes quite the startling discovery, followed by some more scary ongoings. What the heck? Hello? Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, taking a look at Mel's channel will inform you that this is the latest video on her YouTube channel and it is almost 10 years old now. So it doesn't seem like Mel will be posting any follow-up video to this particular piece of footage anytime soon. But all we can do is hope that she is safe today and has no more problems with paranormal entities. A man on YouTube runs a channel called The Prometheus 82, and on it are various different random videos. But nothing on the channel could really be classified as creepy. However, one video uploaded in November of 2020 changes that notion. In the video, it looks as though his family is getting ready for Thanksgiving dinner, as we can see him and his daughter in the kitchen area. And if you look in the oven, you can see food in there. All in all, this seems like a very normal and ordinary Thanksgiving family get-together. But then, out of nowhere, this happens. bottle toppled over like that indeed seems very unnatural and definitely not the result of a wind gust from an open window or anything like that. The man in the video stated on reddit that the house is over 70 years old and has had many owners, and says that Texas is quite haunted when it comes to homes. Prometheus even replied to a comment on the video, stating that he didn't want to scream in front of his daughter despite being scared himself. He wanted to make sure that she wasn't going to freak out, but was still terrified when it happened. And it's not hard to see why. Our first video, which was actually a live stream, comes to us from a YouTube channel known as Horror Museum, and features an interesting and very, very long paranormal investigation that is literally feature length. So if any of you are interested, I do recommend checking it out in full. Without a doubt, the creepiest and most unexplainable event in the video happens at around the 1 hour and 15 minute mark. It seems as though the uploader and a friend or crew member are trying to make contact with the dead with the help of a Ouija board. And suddenly, something from the corner of the room catches their eye and baffles them. Take a look. Mira mi celular, mira mi celular, mira mi celular, mira, 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 en persona se ve, si 
Cierra la sesión. ¿Será la persona? No sé. ¿Qué es esa luz? No tengo idea. ¿Qué es esa luz? No, apágala, apágala. No me puedo ir a oscuras. After this happens, the channel owners attempt to find out where exactly this mysterious light of fire is coming from, but they don't seem to be able to find anything. Era una resplandecencia como si fuera fuego. What could have possibly caused such a strange event? If you have any theories on this, I would love to hear what they are in the comment section down below.